Hi, my name is Mani Ali Khani. I am Dean and Professor at Citor Academy, and I'd like to welcome you to another session of Citor Channel. Today, I want to discuss a very interesting case that due to the complexity was referred to Citor Academy. A female patient was referred to our clinic due to the very severe open bite. If you look at the facial characteristic of this patient, you can see increase in lower facial height and difficulty in closing the mouth. When we're looking at the teeth, the patient demonstrated almost aligned upper and lower teeth. However, the open bite was extended from first molar to the first molar. Also, patient demonstrated significant overjet. From the function point of view, patient was complain uh, complaining that she was breathing from her mouth that was causing a little bit dry mouth. Also, she was not uh, able to pronounce all the sounds properly. The open bite was associated with significant discomfort in the TMJ. When we examined the occlusal view, we noticed that the patient had fixed lingual retainers installed on the lower teeth. Patient had orthodontics treatment before, but they were not able to address the open bite. Panorex demonstrated that the patient has a slight blunting of the root due to the previous orthodontics treatment. Some remodeling of the joint was observed. Self analysis demonstrated autorotation of the mandible clockwise that caused severe open bite and severe overjet. Lower facial height was increased due to that factor. Patient also demonstrated some constriction of the upper jaw. Now let's see how we can treat this patient. Due to the constriction of the upper jaw, application of the expander in this patient is required. We know that in response to the expansion, the mandible will rotate more and the open bite and over jet is going to get worse. Should we do expansion? Also, the alveolar bone in this patient seems a thin type. Can we move the teeth transversely in this patient? To address these problems, we decided to start with the upper expander in conjunction with application of periostal stimulation and shock vape therapy. I will talk about those subjects in future when we're talking about the biological aspect of orthodontics. To control the vertical correction, we asked the patient to wear posterior bite plate. Gradually, as the expansion reached to the end, we start to apply our mechanics. Mechanics in these patients should be customized and we cannot use braces in all the teeth. So we started with the anterior V-band, the free object design for moving the anterior segment down and moving the posterior segment up. And as gradually the case unraveled, we started to put full setup upper and lower in the finishing stage. So somehow we target the biological aspect of the treatment and mechanical aspect of the treatment to achieve precise movement. Let's look at the outcome of the treatment. As you can see, in the facial point of view, the patient shows a proper proportion of the lower facial height. The lip position improved significantly. The chin position improved significantly. The patient does not have that convex profile that she has before. When we examine the intraoral characteristic of this patient, we notice that open bite completely disappeared and proper overjet and overbite has been established. The molars and canyon establishing class one, the patient did not become a gummy smile because the height has been addressed properly by leveling the occlusal plane. Occlusal view demonstrated aligned upper and lower arch. Panorex demonstrated proper alignment of the root and no further root resorption. Self analysis demonstrate that the lower facial height decreased, counterclockwise rotation mandible that addressed the open bite and overjet, and overall harmonic skeletal relationship. Retention in this patient should be planned properly. You need to control the position of the teeth in this patient after treatment for a long time. 
Remember, these patients for a long time have the habit of breathing from their mouth. Therefore, the posterior teeth can continue to extrude. In your retainers, you need to control that. To improve the tongue position and mouth breathing habits, it's important that you collaborate with the myofunctional therapist after the treatment. In addition, to improve the speech, it's good to work with the speech therapist so while the articulation of the teeth allows to proper pronunciation of the sounds, the speech therapist makes sure that that happens. I hope in, you enjoyed this session of Citor channel. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please go ahead and subscribe and please don't forget to press the like button. Thank you.